Look at me. What do you see? You see uh, a weirdo? You see a uh, perverted freak? No? Well, you're wrong. I'm a sicko. I'm, I'm, I'm a weird mother I have seen some shit. <laughs> it makes me feel a little shame right now. Probably more than a little. All right, let's get serious. I know what it's like. I know what it's like to watch some sick shit that you wouldn't tell your grandmother about. And to be become dependent on these things to even get aroused or to even get your dick up. If you watch a random vanilla video, it doesn't work. So you need to search for that specific category, that one video. Maybe you even struggle to get it up when you try to sleep with a real person, etc. I know what that's like. And the thing is, the thing is with problems like this, that it kind of is very normal. There are so many men all around the world who are struggling with these issues. Watching porn is considered very normal, right? A lot of people even say, oh yeah, it's healthy and it's normal. You should just go ahead and do it. It being stimulated even. And there are so many young men, primarily young men, who develop problems because of it. Like struggling to get it up, developing a fucking fetish, right? Like a sissy fetish that makes them question their identity and that destroys their confidence or whatever fetish it is. So many young guys, so many people in general, but primarily young guys again, who struggle with these problems. And I know that because I create videos on this topic and my videos are reaching literally millions of people around the world who are all like, hey, whoa, wait a second. I have these problems as well. And people hit me up in the DMs and stuff. So countless of men all around the world have these problems. And porn is considered to be normal. But at the same time, people never actually talk about these problems in public. And so people aren't really aware of the scale of these problems. And they think that you are some kind of a weird, disgusting freak if you have developed a fetish or if you can't get it up because you, you know, your brain is used to watching a certain category of porn. Because let's be honest, you don't just tell your friends about this stuff, right? You don't just hang out with your friends and then say, Hey, yeah. So guys, um, lately I've been watching quite a lot of sissy hypnos. Hmm? <laughs> that shit's really turned me on, turning me on sissy hypnos. Yeah. That's my favorite category right now. Or, you know, when you had a date with the girl, you don't tell your friends, Oh yeah. So, uh, last weekend, I had a date with Chelsea, but uh, yeah, we tried to have sex, but I, I I couldn't get it up because, you know, my brain is warped and I've got a cuckold fetish and all I wanted is to just see her getting railed by five black guys. But yeah, she was stuck with me, the pathetic little white boy. So <laughs> I couldn't get it up, guys. You know what it's like, right? <laughs> People don't say that to their friends. And yet these things happen more than you think they happen. I mean, these videos like sissy hypnos, cuckold videos or whatever fetish it is that you've developed, these things are getting views, right? You could check it out right now. You could go to one of these websites and, and search one of these categories and you could see that these videos are getting tons and tons of views, like millions of views, literally. So these video, the, these views have to come from somewhere, but people don't talk about it. People don't admit to these things because they're very ashamed of it. They're ashamed of saying that they've developed a fetish, but they are affected by this fetish and they are affected by a lot of these other effects of watching too much porn. And because we don't talk about it, I think people don't really search for the right treatment and they sort of isolate and they become even more ashamed of themselves because they think that they are some kind of a super freak. They think, Oh my God, 
I'm some kind of a super weirdo. There's something wrong with me. They're afraid to talk about it. They're afraid to seek help or, you know, even just try to help themselves. And because they feel extra bad, they keep isolating themselves and it kind of only makes the problem worse because you believe that there is something wrong with you. Well, in reality, you're just, you know, you're just a regular guy who happened to have watched too much porn. <laughs> Just like all the other regular guys out there. Just like me and probably some of your friends. Maybe more than you think. And this can reverse if you just stop watching porn. You're just a regular guy who happened to watch too much porn and these problems can go away if you quit watching porn again. And so I wanted to make this video to tell you that you are not some kind of a weirdo or a sicko. If you're a weirdo, then I'm a weirdo. And so many other guys are weirdos. Practically all, all guys are weirdos and sickos because we all have that same instinct where if we watch too much porn, we eventually start to develop more specific preferences and it kind of rewires our brain. Everyone is biology. So don't get demotivated and think that you are some kind of a freak, a loser, a sicko. Because you're just a regular guy who watched too much porn. And if you stop watching it, then the effects can fully go away again. Now, I just wanted to make this video to tell you this, that there is hope that you shouldn't give up. You're just, you're just a regular guy who fell into an unfortunate situation. And I'm not going to go into like details on how to quit porn in this video because it will take too long and you know, there's a place for that in other videos. But if you want to learn more, subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out my free mini course to quit porn in the description below.